Welcome back to a fifth of Jack Gaming, and thanks for watching. Today we're gonna to have another little contest between the Planeswalkers, Mind Flares, and the Dragons. Let's see who comes on top. We decide who comes on top by who has the best cards that they open up in the pack. Alright, we're starting with the Planeswalkers. Their handy dandy art card is Drizzit. Well, that's kind of nice looking. Drizzit is drawn by Tyler Jacobson. Cost is, I don't know why I said cost, but it's number 52 out of 81. And then we have a Planes. Followed by a fancy art of an owl bear that costs two green and three. It's a bird bear, has trample, has keen senses. When it enters the battlefield, we draw a card. It has a 4 4 body. Celestial unicorn costs two and a white for a unicorn. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on a celestial unicorn. It has a 3 2 body. Talking about gaining life, we have a potion of healing. Cost is one and a white for an artifact. When it enters the battlefield, we get to draw a card, and we can pay a white, tap it, sacrifice it, and we'll gain three life. And then we have a Steadfast Paladin. It costs us one and a white for a Dwarf Knight that has lifelink. Has a 2-2 two, two power. We've heard of Purple Rain, but here comes the Purple Worm. Costs us five and two green for a warm. This ball costs us two less to cast. If a creature dies this turn, has war two. That means wh whenever a creature becomes a target of a spell or ability that opponent controls, counter it unless they pay two more. It has an eight seven body. That was an uncommon, and so is this guy. Dungeon map. Costs us three and it's an artifact. Tap it, add a colorless. Pay three, tap it, and venture into a dungeon. Activate this only as a sorcery. Dungeoneering. Red dragon is an uncommon. That costs four and two red. It's a dragon with flying, fire breathing. And when a red dragon enters the battlefield, it deals four damage to each opponent. Has a four four body. Priest of the Ancient Lore costs two and a white for a Dwarf Cleric. When it enters the battlefield, you gain one life and you draw a card. It has a 2-1 body. And then a rare is Yon T. Mallison. It costs one and a blue. It's a snake rogue. It can't be blocked as long as it attacks by itself. And when it deals combat damage to a player, venture into a dungeon. Has a 2-1 body. We could take a long rest, which is another rare. Costs two or three costs three green and X. It's a sorcery. We turn X target cards with different mana values from the graveyard to your hand. If eight or more cards were returned to your hand this way, you gain life total becomes the equal to the starting life total. Exile, long rest. Then the foil is Pixie Guide. Costs us one and a blue for a fairy. It has flying and then it has grand and advantage. If you would roll one or more dice instead roll that many dice plus one and ignore the lowest. It has a one three body. And then our token is the Tomb of Annihilation. Talking about going into the dungeons. For finishing that, we'll end up getting this guy. Who has Death Touch. The Pearl. It's a 4-4 four, four body. It's a God Horror. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if we can do a little bit better, though. It's going to be the Mind Flare's turn. Let's see what they bring to the party. Alright, 
Art card. Bay Wild Trickster by Eris Compet. Compet. Competti. That's a number 70 out of 81. You got a mountain. Our fancy art card is Bruno the Bale Hammer. Cost is two, a red, and a white. For a legendary creature, that's a dwarf warrior. Each creature you control gets a plus two, plus O oh for each equipment attached to it. You may pay zero rather than the equip cost of the first equipment ability you activate this turn. Or each turn. Woo! That's a 5-3 body. We have a devoted paladin. It costs us four and a white. Who is an orc knight. Gives you a beacon of hope when it enters the battlefield. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. Has a 4-4 four, four body. So for that Paladin, we have the Paladin Shield. It costs us one and a white for an equipment. Has flash. That means we could play it at any time. Whenever, the, whenever it enters the battlefield, attach it to a target creature you control. Equip creature gets plus O, plus two. The equip costs itself three. Then we have a plus two mace. Costs us one and a white for an equipment. Equip creature gets plus two, plus two. And equip costs of three. Ray of Frost. Costs us one and a blue for an enchantment. It has flash. Enchanted, and then you can put this on a creature. And when it enters the battlefield, if the enchanted creature is red, tap it. As long as the enchanted creature is red, it loses all abilities. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. That was an uncommon, and so is this guy. Tagnar Demon Fang Null. Costs a red and a green. It's a Null who has pack tactics. And whenever it attacks, and if the attack power of the creatures were greater than 6, or 6 or greater, this combat attacking creatures get plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. We can pay a 2 a green and a red, and then we can double the power and toughness of this guy until end of turn. That's a 2 2 body. Another uncommon that we have is a loathsome troll. Costs us 3 and 2 green. It's a troll. Pay 3 and a green. Roll a d20. Activate this ability only if he's in the graveyard. 1 through 9, we get to put. If we roll a 1 through 9, we get to put the troll on top of our library. If we roll a 10 through 19, we get to return them to our hand. Or if we roll a 20, we get to return them to the battlefield tap. It has a 6-3 body. Hired Hexblade costs us 1 and a black for an elf warlock. When it enters the battlefield, if mana was spent on this with a treasure, we get to draw a card and lose one life. Has a 2 2 body. Wandering Turbo Bower costs us 3 and a green for a Dragon Bard. At the beginning of our instep, if you had a land enter the battlefield under your control, venture into the dungeon. Has a 4 2 body. We got a unique art. That's also our rare of. Hall of the Giant or Storm Giants. Hall of the Storm Giants. An adventure for characters 17 to 20. It's a land. If you control two or more other lands, it enters the battlefield tapped. Tap at a blue, or you could pay five and a blue until end of turn. It becomes a 7 7 blue giant creature with War 3, and it's still a land. Our foil is healing, or is potion of healing. Cost is one and a white. It's an artifact. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Pay one white, tap it, sacrifice it, and you gain three life. And the final card is a magic mini game. Magic and minions.
Seems a little bit fun. Well, that's a unique art that's on that card. I guess I would have to say the Planeswalkers still have it, though. That little long rest seems a little bit interesting. Let's see if the Dragons can bring it home. Alright. We have a stat card for this little guy. Which he said, Decise or Displacer Beast. Displacer Beast. Which he says, Displacer Beast. And that's the stats that we have in them. You can run this in your, in your campaign at home and be able to have this as a creature for you. There's our planes. Therese, Dust Whisper, costs two, a green, and a black for a legendary creature. It's a human elf warlock. Be Witching Whispers. When it enters the battlefield, target creature blocks this turn if able. It has Whispers of the Grave at the beginning of your end step. If a creature died this turn, you may pay two life. If you do, draw a card. It's a 1 3 body. It's also an uncommon of a fancy art. You have a secret door. It costs one blue for a wall. As defender, pay four and a blue. Venture into a dungeon. Activate only as a sorcery. Has a zero four body. Then we have a veteran dungeoneer. It costs three and a white. It's a human warrior. When it enters the battlefield, Venture into a dungeon. So, if you're already in a dungeon with this adventure thing, you get to go the next step forward of the dungeon as well. So, let's say we're already in one. We'll get able, be able to go to the next step. Has a 3-4 body. Goomstalker costs 2 and a white for a, ra for a dwarven ranger. As long as you completed a dungeon, Goomstalker has double strike. Has a 2 3 body. Farewell Trickster costs 2 and a blue for a no more like. Whenever you roll one or more dice, create a 1 1 blue fairy dragon creature token with lion. Has a 2 2 body. Then we have the power of persuasion. Costs 2 and a blue for a sorcery. Choose a target creature card and opponent controls, then roll a d20. 1 through 9, return it to its owner's hand. 10 through 19, its controller puts on the top of the library or at the bottom of their library. Or 20, we gain control of it until end of turn. Oh, we gain control of it until the end of our next turn. Albert Mind's Sorcerer costs four and a blue for a human elf shaman. Has psychonic spells, so when it enters the battlefield, we get to choose a target instant or sorcery card in our graveyard. Roll a d20. One through nine, we may put that card into our library. One through nine, you may put that card on top of your library. Ten through twenty, turn that card to your hand. Or it's a three, four. It has a three, four body. Reaper's Talisman costs one black for an equipment. Whenever a equipped creature attacks, it gains death touch until end of turn. Whenever a equipped creature attacks alone, the defending player loses two life and you gain two life. Is it equipped cost of two? And then a rare that we have in the pack is Dungeon Descent. And here's the battlefield tap. Tap it for a colorless or it could pay for it. Tap it on. Tap an untapped legendary creature you control. Venture into the dungeon. Activate this only as a sorcery. Funny thing of it saying a legendary creature because we have 
and the death, the Dragon Lich. Cost is two and two black. For a dragon zombie that's a legendary creature, has flash, flying, and when it enters the bath or it enters battlefield tapped, you may cast this guy from the graveyard if a creature not named him died this turn. It's a five two body. The foily is you see a guard approach. It costs one blue. It's an instant. You can distract a guard so you tap a target creature. Or you can hide. Target creature you control gains hexproof until end of turn. Hexproof makes it so they can't be targeted at the spells abilities that your opponents control. And with all this venturing, we got the Tomb of Annihilation token. And what's the reward at the end? Well, you get this guy. The Aporeal. It's a god hoarder who has death touch. It's a 4-4 four, four body. Well, I think the dragon took it because this guy seems pretty good. And out of all of them and everything, it seems like that's the best card out of the bunch. Even though long rest is very, very close. But I would say the dragons take it. What do you think? Put it down in the comments down below. And thanks for watching. And if you're liking the content that we're putting out, like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon to be notified about any future content. Until next time, we'll see you later.